All right, so we are joined by New Zealand quick uh, Lockie Ferguson, uh, now of course playing for his new IPL franchise, Gujarat Titans. Uh, Lockie, good to have you joining us. Uh, new franchise, they're having new beginnings. Uh, your thoughts, and uh, you expect your role to change in your previous franchise. You were uh, used prominently in the Midwest. Uh, yeah, obviously very exciting to have two new franchises join the IPL. It's um, turning into quite the epic competition, really, isn't it, with 10 teams now? But uh, no, looking at our team, it's, it's been phenomenal. I've had um, a lot of nice messages from the group. Uh, I'm really excited to get this year started, and um, I'm shooting off, I think, in about a week or so. So uh, once we get uh, amongst uh, trainings and team meetings and the like, I'm sure we'll um, gel really nicely. But certainly looking on paper at our team, uh, you know, a very solid side, and, um, you know, hopefully I can uh, add to that team and hopefully get us some wins. You were, of course, one of the few million-dollar men to come from the auction. Uh, you want to run us through, uh, did you follow that auction? That must have felt good. Yeah, it was a um, pretty exciting night. Um, it was a bit late for us here, but I did stay up for it. I was about to go to sleep, and then I got a text from uh, Shane Bond. So I couldn't find the link, but I was following it on Twitter. So, no, nah, very exciting evening for me. Um, exciting just to see, I guess, how many teams were bidding uh, for me, but at the same time, uh, looking at the Gujarat Titans, it's uh, great to be part of a new side uh, with new beginnings and, of course, um, hopefully playing at some stage in the final uh, at the new stadium and, and Gujarat as well. So um, looking forward to a week's time to getting over there and, and um, getting into another year of IPL. It should be great. Look, I just touched upon, you know, the, the, the role that you tend to play in this format of that of an enforcer uh, quite uh, quite a lot in the middle over. Do you think that's uh, been underutilized just a little bit? Because, you know, while we know this format is played at a certain pace, a lot of batting teams do sort of uh, uh, slow down a gear a little bit. And, you know, that's when someone like you coming in, going for the wickets uh, can be disruptive. What's your sense? Yeah, it's, it's a great question because um, each team sort of I've played and my role slightly changed. Certainly, I enjoy being, I guess, an enforcer role. Um, you tend to have a bit more of a license to um, go for runs and take wickets. Um, but at the same time, uh, as I've developed my game, you know, I've had to adjust and make sure that I've ticked off power play bowling and then, of course, um, death bowling as well. So playing franchise competitions around the world and certainly the last year or so, having played a lot of T20 cricket, um, it's been great for my experience and, and my learning curve to play games, try things, and then learn from them quickly. Uh, with with Kolkata, yeah, I bowled a few more through the middle. We were fortunate to have spin bowlers who bowled in the power play, but it might be different for Gudra. And so it's important, I guess, for the group to get together, make sure our roles are nice and clear. And then when your roles are clear and aside, um, then it's much easier to learn quickly and then adjust and then make sure that you I guess, get into the tournament nice and quickly and, and put up some good performances. Um, but yeah, looking at our bowling attack, you know, it's nice to slot in next to some greats uh, of the game. Um, so it should be an exciting season. I mean, you know, watching you quick, uh, go, you know, gives us a thrill. I'm sure it's not giving you a great high. Uh, in this format, it doesn't become a double-edged sword locking. Uh, bowling quick? High pace, yeah. Yeah. Uh... I think the last two IPLs, the quick bowlers did pretty well. So I would have to say that, um, no, nah, it's been pretty successful. Um, I think definitely going back to India, spin tends to play a bit more of a role. Um, but the nature is of my job that some nights you are going to get hit for extra runs. Um, and that's, I guess, the, the risk you take bowling. But on the other side of that sword, exactly as you said, you, you can take wickets and change your game. And um, certainly as I've developed my game over the years, Hopefully, I play more games where I take wickets rather than going for runs. Um, but I think when you play a competition like the IPL, you come up against the best in the world. Each team you play seems to have 11 guys who can hit sixes. So um, it's important, as I said, to know your role, um, know how I fit into this new side. I'm sure those conversations will be had over the next few weeks. Uh, and then, I guess, try to execute the skills as best as possible. You don't swing it as much as some of your fellow TV placement do. Uh, so do you, do you sort of, in, you know, when you've got only 24 balls to play with, head or toe is, is, is the line of attack that you sort of keep switch, uh, you know, looking to? Is that a sort of staple form of attack for you? Uh, what was that? Sorry, I just missed that. What was a staple form of attack? I'm, I'm saying head or toe. Is that uh, some, a tactic? That Heads or toes. <laughs> Oh, man, nose or toes. Uh, well, unfortunately, and I'm certainly advocating for more bumpers uh, in T20 cricket, I think 
there's been some murmurs amongst the commentators which I've been enjoying about potentially bringing in two bounces and over in T20, which would make things interesting. Um, but no, look, I, I think being part of the Black Caps when you have world-class swing bowlers, obviously I don't get the new ball. So um, I've had to develop my game in a different way and, and bounce bowling has been that. Um, so I guess, as you call it, um, nose and toes, but pushing a batter back, uh, creating hesitation with short bowling, that allows you sort of to get the Yorker in. Um, but it's just different styles. I think each team you play amongst and each team you play against, you need to adjust um, ever so slightly. Um, but yeah, I've been back playing with my domestic side and getting the new ball, which has been exciting this home summer. So I've um, been working on swinging the ball as well. So uh, as I said, it just changes depending on what team and what franchise you're playing for and, and what they want from you. Um, but yeah, certainly looking at our side, I think um, Shami will be taking the new ball with how beautifully he swings it. Yeah, I mean, you got this great knack of bowling to crushing Yorkers. Uh, you know, from the time you began, do you sense that the margin of error sort of come down with the Yorkers and you know, the batsmen sort of picking their game up? Ah, yeah. Look, I think the level of cricket at this point in time, especially in the T20 game, is um, you know, it's it's extremely difficult. Even in our New Zealand domestic campaign, we've just played. It's the level of cricket from these young players, there's no fear. Um, they're striking the ball so well and, and you need to know your skills. So, yeah, the margin of error gets smaller. Um, but similarly, the pressure also goes on the batter as well when scores are sort of reaching high 180s, 200s. And when you can build dot balls, build that pressure, particularly as a team from both ends, um, that's where you get the wickets nowadays. I think probably... Gone to the days as much of just blowing out stumps, bowling 150k. I wish it was still like that, but now the batters are so much more skillful nowadays. So uh, the bowlers have to be up to the task and, and just as skillful themselves. Yeah, but but on days when it works, Lockie, when you when you shatter the stumps, uh, how's that feeling like? I'm, I'm sure you must have broken a few as well along the way. Yeah, oh, there's no better, and especially that they've added the sort of the uh, zing bales. I think they're called where everything lights up. So. Um, what a great invention that is. Um, but yeah, look, I, I think Bold's definitely still my most favourite uh, wicket uh, to get. Um, but um, I guess that's the benefit sometimes when you bowl quick when guys are swinging, uh, there's opportunity for them to miss it. But look, I think the key for me moving into this season is how can I best fit into the, the Titans bowling attack? And I guess once we nail down our roles as quickly as possible, how can all the bowlers work together to build that pressure I was talking about earlier and, and get wickets that way? I, I certainly think that's how the, the most successful teams have got wins in the past and certainly how the Black Caps have been tracking the last few years. And you, of course, uh, you know, develop this uh, the slower ball along the way. Because you bowl consistently at such a high pace, uh, that slower ball, uh, do you work on speeds uh, at which to bowl? Uh, does it get easier to spot for a batter if it's particularly slower as opposed to your average speeds? Can you tell us a little bit of the work that goes behind? Yeah, look, I think you're, you're spot on. The, the guys who have faced me more potentially pick up my cues more so than a, a new batter who hasn't faced me. So... Uh, I'm sure there'll be some young Indian batsmen who it's their first IPL this year and haven't faced uh, me. So um, potentially they won't pick up on the cues. Um, but of course, you know, the Rohits, the Virats, the Canes, those guys tend to pick up on the cues a lot earlier because they've faced so much more. Um, so it's important to develop that. Um, the key for me on that ball uh, is to, to almost try to bowl it faster than my quick ball because as soon as my arm speed is slower, that's probably the most obvious cue that a batter will pick up on and he'll go slower ball and then he'll wait and hit it. So the key with having the same fast arm action means that it seems like a quick ball. And then of course, as it comes out the back, because of the fast arm speed, there's more revs on the ball. And that's where you kind of get a little bit of drift sometimes and, and hopefully some turn too. So um, yeah, it's, it's a ball that I've been developing for a long time and some days it comes out better than others. Um, but yeah, I've sort of been working on a few other ones uh, this home summer as well. So um, we'll see how those go in India. But um, yeah, it's going to be an exciting season for sure. Before we wrap this, one final question, Loki. Uh, test cricket, you'd like to add more to the one test match or are you sort of reconciled to the fact that you know, there's a lot of risk with, with, with the injury uh, risk that's involved with the body and the pace that you bowl at? 
No, I definitely want to play test cricket. Um, I've had one crack at it and only lasted half a day. So um, there'll be hopefully another opportunity. Um, but at the same time, the Black Caps are probably the top of the game at the moment. And especially in the fast bowling department, it's a tough side to get in. You see Matt Henry got player of the series and he's been struggling in to get into the side for a few years. So, look, I think um, uh, when I reflect where I'm at at the moment, um, I'm very privileged to be playing two white ball formats for my country and, of course, the opportunity to play in the IPL. So uh, a lot of my focus goes into making sure that I'm improving that area of my game. Um, but also in the back of my mind, I do want to play test cricket so should that opportunity come I'll certainly put my hand up but it is a, it is a tough juggling act um, I'm sure you've spoken to a lot of players about how much we're playing at, at this stage and um, it's just a tough juggling act with keeping yourself on the park as much as possible and working out you know when to aim for games and world cups and IPLs and and the like so um, test cricket I definitely want to play and, and hopefully I get that opportunity so we'll just um, just have to wait on for that. Fantastic. Uh, lovely to chat with you, Lockie. We all look forward to see yeah. you bowl alongside Rashid Khan. That should be some fun. I appreciate it. Thanks very much for your time.